Wow, an extreme haunted house that's been in Rancho Pendosquitos 14 years will soon be moving to Illinois unless someone steps in to help. It is wildly popular, but new tonight, 10 News reporter Kristen Kehoe shows us why some are eager to see it go. McKaney Manor Haunted House offers an experience so intense that no one has ever made it to the end. Patrons are willingly kidnapped, put in a straitjacket, and tormented for hours. Right. After 14 years in Rancho Penasquito, section two here. creator Russ McKamey is moving his attraction. I'm not going to let anybody get hurt, but I am looking for those magic Kodak moments. He lost his job as a veteran's advocate at Camp Pendleton. But all this stuff has to be gone through and, and got rid of. The 27,000 people on his wait list will have to head to Illinois. I'd say without sounding stupid that we're probably the most famous haunt in the world. He was offered a free plot of land to put on his show in a city called McLeansboro. <laughs> controversy when you move by the people who live near your new spot. Probably. There's always con. Yeah, all it takes is for them to look at the movies. There's already a national movement against Russ. There's a YouTube channel called Exposing McKamey Manor. They're coming here to live their own horror movie. You may be surprised to learn that it's not the people looking to be haunted who will be the most affected by McKamey Manor's move. It's actually dogs like Daisy from Operation Greyhound. Russ and his partner Carol never charged admission. Instead, they asked patrons to bring dog food to help these animals. Russ says the only way he'll stay is if someone offers him the same setup in San Diego that he's getting in the Midwest. In Rancho Penasquitos, I'm Kristen Keo, 10 News. Well, let's hope the dogs are okay. And Russ has to go uh, has a GoFundMe page set up. He's hoping to get help financing this move. Meantime, anybody interested in offering Russ the means to stay in San Diego can email Kristen at kristen.keo at 10news.com.